I'm not one to spoil videos for you guys here on my channel, but recently I've been working on making another iceberg chart, but this time it would be on industrial music. And as I was compiling a list of all the different artists and bands to add within the chart and naming each tier, I hit a roadblock around the mid portion of making this chart, and not because there's a shortage of names out there, there's a lot of industrial artists to choose and pick from, but more so the fact I was so stumped within the mid portion because I was really wondering at this point, what even is industrial music? There's a lot of websites, blogs, and individuals you can find on the internet given their own take as to how they perceive what industrial music is. And every single post, article, and individual I heard discussing it described it differently, which only added to my confusion about this style of music all the more. However, when it came to the similarities with everyone's descriptions, it seemed like everyone was agreeing on the fact of who was the pioneers and some of the first ever examples of industrial music as it really started becoming a thing around the late 70s and early 80s. People turned to names such as Stefan Weiser, who is mostly known as his stage name as Zev for being one of the earliest pioneers of industrial music. Then you have Monty Cazizar, who is another pioneer, mainly because he owned the record label Industrial Records, along with what is considered the first ever industrial project, that being Throbbing Gristle. Going off of that base of understanding of what industrial music is from the artists I just mentioned, along with a handful of others around that time period of, again, the late 70s and early 80s, industrial music without anything added with it, is basically just abstract noise of like electronics or synthesizers and like machinery going off to give off those noises and maybe at some points you'll have like a form of like percussions coming through to give off like rhythm or a beat within everything. So again, to some people that's just pure industrial music around that time period of again the early 80s, so I'm looking at stuff like Throbbing Gristle as like the unadulterated industrial like token for it. However, when you go down the timeline of like the mid 80s and late 80s, names like Skinny Puppy, Ministry, and the record label Wax Track Records pops up that really expanded upon the sound more. However, to some people, they criticize that Skinny Puppy Ministry and Wax Track Records, with all the music they released around this time period, completely destroyed what industrial music would be forever. Because again, Skinny Puppy and Ministry is industrial rock, or industrial punk. It's not purely just industrial anymore. That now it's become more of like an addition to add within other genres now, and again, it's not pure. And God forbid you add in Nine Inch Nails into the conversation. That's where even more people argue that Trent Reznor completely decimated forever to some people what industrial music is. Because while you can argue that Trent Reznor with Nine Inch Nails brought industrial music into the mainstream, yes, around the 90s with albums like Pretty Hate Machine, which yeah, I know that came out in 89, and the fan favorite, that being uh, The Downward Spiral, that I think was released, what, in 94, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, the term industrial now is being, you know, said a lot more around a wider audience. However, again, as I stated with Skinny Puppy and Ministry, it's not pure industrial. It's just industrial rock or alternative rock industrial. Like, there's always, like, something adding with it that... Industrial music now is just more of a mutation that you can manipulate its sound and kind of work over within, like, you know, accessible music like rock music. But what's really interesting is that when interviewed uh, Trent Reznor about Nine Inch Nails as to what exactly the genre is, he's never once thought that Nine Inch Nails was ever an industrial project. He always argued that it's just a rock band with like, you know, synthesizers as an addition when it comes to his writing approach. Yet, the diehard fans and even Trent Reznor himself 
will not say that Nine Inch Nails is industrial, yet when you search up industrial music and what is considered to be like a gateway for industrial music, Nine Inch Nails is always the first thing that's brought up. And funny enough, this has happened more often than not when artists are labeled as some form of like industrial music and then they deny it immediately. Best example I can give you around this time period in the 80s is Depeche Mode, which is considered like the godfathers of synth pop. They were categorized as an industrial band back in the 80s when they released their third full-length album, Construction Time Again. That yes, in terms of how they use the synthesizers is a bit more heavy and abrasive compared to what they were doing around that time period, but when asked in a 1984 interview if they were even aware that they were a part of like any kind of like industrial tendencies with how they write music, they denied it immediately considering the fact that they never thought they were part of any kind of like category within music, but definitely not industrial to say the very least. Thus, that's where my confusion stems from, from what exactly is industrial music, but I just find that so fascinating. What I'm perceiving from it, I'm not saying I'm right here, is that it seems to be like a mutation that you can always add within another form of music now. Like yes, going back to Throbbing Gristle, like that's pure, unadulterated industrial, but over the years it's been manipulated, it sounds so much, that it's used to be like more of like an addition to other forms of music. Again, like industrial rock, industrial metal, industrial hip-hop, and so on and so forth. And even then, it's still really fascinating how much it can be manipulated to like an infinite degree. Like for example, within metal, you got Godflesh and Author and Punisher. Both are industrial metal bands and often are compared to each other. But when you compare how they utilize the industrial music within their metal approach, they're vastly different. Just like clipping and death grips. Yeah, when it comes to industrial hip-hop, they're always compared to each other because they both utilize, obviously, industrial and hip-hop music. But when you compare the two, once again, they're vastly different because how they manipulate the industrial usage is just night and day the comparison, I would say. Personally, how I look at it, this is what keeps industrial having a fan base, whether they realize it or not. There are so many bands and artists out there that experiment to just such a degree that it seems like they inadvertently create industrial music without them even realizing it. And when confronted in interviews as to whether or not they're aware that they created industrial, they seem to be r rather in confusion or deny it because, again, they just get blissfully lost in that experimentation. So from how I perceive it right now as to what is industrial music, is that it's a form of music that doesn't really have a set of rules. It's very fluid. It's very easy to manipulate. And because of that, you have limitless outcomes to as what it can be. That I would say the question, what is industrial music, becomes the answer. Because the more you question it, and the more you dive into the sounds of it, and you go into all these different routes and detours and experimentations with it, that's where you get the end result of what industrial music is, as maybe pretentious as I sound describing it. It's just a very fluid style of music, just simply put. And that's what I just find so fascinating about it. So I'm really curious to know, guys, what you think industrial music is. What's your description of it? Whether you put it in your own words or you just, you know, copy and paste some Wikipedia... Uh, Wikipedia article about it. I'm really curious to know, again, what is industrial music to you guys? So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, like always, make sure you guys drink plenty of water to stay hydrated and have a great day.